Here's the hill of Kronos. I think he was the father of Zeus. And here we are. These are the ruins of Olympia. It was never a town. It was always just for the Olympics. So people from all over Greece would come every four years for five days for 1,200 years to do a few different uh, um, competitions. Here's where the flame of Hestia, the everlasting flame, was kept. The Philippinian, the circular structure, the circular building. This is just the uh, floor that's left of it. And look, it has the columns that they restored, I'm sure. But those columns went all the way around. That's what it looked like. It was built by Alexander the Great to commemorate. Uh, it was donated by Philip and then restored, completed by Alexander the Great in 338 BC to commemorate a, a victory over the Spartans in a battle. And here's another building. Let's go see what this building is. There are some stones with original inscriptions to 3,000 years old. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to read all that. Okay, let's go see what this building is. I think it's the Temple of Hera. Yep, this is the Temple of Hera. That's what it looked like. It's the oldest and best of the temples. That's what it looks like on the grounds. It's that one there. So there's the circular. Here's the Temple of Hera. But you can't go up inside of it. But here's the stones. And here's what it looks like. You stand on this rock. Temple of Hera. What's that? A cauldron thing there. Here, let's see what this is. Here's where the alighting of the Olympic flame takes place since 1936. Right here. So I guess this is where the lighting of the Olympic flame took place in ancient times. There's the Temple of Hera. And let's see what this is all about. There is the And there was the big aqueduct. You can see the dripping water down to feed, give water to the people. Here are all the different statues that they had that I filmed in the uh, museum. It was up at the backdrop of the build, big building. So here we are, the steps of it. Water flowed down and was stored there, I suppose. And Trips down with the Temple of Hera, lighting of the temple. So, let's go this way and see what's over here. Here's a prehistoric building from 2150 to 2000 BC. Um, there's the Temple of Hera in the aqueduct building with Kronos Hill, and they found a lot of uh, things in here. So, there was a little village here beforehand. Okay. I'm gonna go and read about that right here. So this is the Metroon. That's what it looked like. And it was, uh, it was um, to honor the mother of the gods, Rhea or Sybil. And also to honor the uh, Roman emperors <laughs> during Roman times. So, yeah, there's Temple of Hera. So let's go this way. I think this is where the running race was held. So yes, this is the stadium. It was 15th century BC. And it could uh, house 45,000 people and it didn't have um, seats except for on the edges. And it had this entrance. That's what it looks like. And here's where the judges sit. Yeah, so we're there. So let's go have a gander. Here's all the buildings. 
came from that direction. So let's walk through. Here's where all of the Olympians walk through to go to the stadium. Wow. I think it was some kind of tunnel to go through. Mm -hmm. I'll keep this on. And so the running race was was across this from one end to the other. Um, I guess 190 to 240 meters or something. Looks like a 100 meter dash or something from here. But uh, yeah, 45,000 people were here. And here we are. I just went in. You can see the embankment still exists. That's like in the middle where the uh, judges were. This is the other side. This embankment was kind of up in the beginning of the hill of Kronos, father of the gods. And um, here's a stone block, maybe the beginning. I suppose that's where the judges sat. So I'm going to walk across this. So here we are, pretty close to it. You can see some of the stonework. Very old limestone. This must be the outer wall with the various rooms. And maybe they had like wood floors or something and not beneath, I don't know. Interesting. Some, some of the stonework there. More. Still standing, I suppose. All this year, 3,000 years later. And look at that. There's a tall spire. I kind of want to find out what that's all about. Here we have the South Portico. So there's a river here. There are like two rivers. So it was on the edge of the river. That's what it looked like back in the day. I saw a bunch of these in the museum. And uh, here we have, here we have it. Let's walk up this. This is, this is cordoned off. We can walk in and amongst. So look at these sculptures, the top, 3,000 years old. Ancient inscriptions worn away. Worn away over time. Pretty cool they still still exists. This must have been an inscription. All the, it's all gone. And I think the river is down the, down this hill somewhere. Here's the, the, the Kronos Hill. Check it out, it's a fig tree. It's got figs all over the ground. Maybe they had fig trees back in the day too. I can't reach those figs though. Hmm. What's this? This is just a holding dock. There's a bathroom. I don't, have, I don't got to go there though. Maybe I could go look at the river though. Look at all the pretty flowers around. Maybe they're descendants of the flowers from back in the day that were all over the place. This must have been just gorgeous. Look at the size of that pedestal. It's huge. Maybe the Acropolis in Athens is this big. I mean, look how big it is next to me. Look how big that is. It's huge. And those are some of the pedestals that it was on. There's another one. How do they get there? They're just scattered all over the place. Like, like look. They must have just fallen? How do they fall? Oh yeah, there is an earthquake. That's right. In 812 and 851 AD, no, no, 512 and 551, there was an earthquake. And I think it toppled all of us. So it just was like crumble and 
So then you can see like this fell and that was on top of it and it fell and that one fell on top of there and, and this must have been the one on the top. You can see how they're placed together. And maybe that's the only one that's still standing and it's still in good shape because it hasn't been eroded by dirt. Maybe it's just a replica to show how big it was because look how in good shape it is. That's how high it was. I don't know which temple this was. Let's find out. You can't stand up there anymore. There's the circular building, just to get the bearings. Temple of Hera. Okay, yeah, of course, it was the Temple of Zeus. Built 